You all know the age-old expression that you can't teach a Halo collector new tricks. And even though there's a world affecting virus right now, that will not stop me from buying Halo. And although we all need to stay indoors, thankfully people are still willing to ship. So, ugh, I got all this new Halo. Let's check it out. Okay, so I got all of this from a lot of different places on the internet. First is the one I'm most excited about, and this was definitely the most expensive, but I've been looking for one of these for a long time. And the guy on Facebook Marketplace had it for an absolute steal. So here we go. Money shot. This is the Halo Square Enix 10th anniversary figure. And whoa, let's take a look. Just so beautiful. The Master Chief Petty Officer with Majolner armor. Look at this baby. So a guy offered me this on Facebook Marketplace and although it's in a box, I did go and collect it from his house. The UK is on pretty, pretty bad lockdown now. I went and got it before the lockdown started, but when he gave it to me, I had to send him PayPal and then I just had to like open up a bag and he just dropped it in. We left the figure in quarantine for like three or four days just to make sure it was safe. Here we go. Nice Sputnik rocket launcher. The only other one of play arts I have is uh, the Noble 6 from Halo Reach. But this guy is just, just beautiful. If you want to find any Halo for a real steal, go to Halo Collector. It's a fantastic place where Halo collectors can join up and sell their merch. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. I'm saving the Mega Bloks to last. Next was just before the lockdown happened, the Entertainer Toy Store in the UK had a sale where they said buy one get one free on literally everything in the store. First of all, I got these two pop vinyls, Sergeant Johnson and Buck. Always wanted them, but really I don't believe in paying full price for pop vinyls. I think it's, there's just too much hype around them. But these two, for half price, I could, I could definitely do it. These are the brand new pop vinyls and there's four in the set. I bought these two and then I thought that I also wanted the Master Chief. They didn't have the Arbiter, but I wanted the Chief. So I got two of them. So we got two Chiefs, a Sergeant Johnson and a book. And I'll be doing a full review of these Funko Pops in the future. But you know, you can't just have three out of four of the collection. So I went on eBay, had a couple of bidding wars, and eventually struck gold and got the Arbiter for kind of a similar price actually, it was pretty good. So I got five of these pop vinyl figures and then this Chief, I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe a giveaway, maybe I'll sell it to one of my friends, who knows? You know the music, time to dance. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? She stayed behind. Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. Radio for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We must go. The brutes have our scent. They must love the scent of a real man. I will have my revenge on a prophet. What can I say? It was a hell of a night. And then we've got the Mega Bloks for today. Now, I'm actually considering making a video on its own about the distribution issues in the UK, and do let me know if you want to see that. It's very difficult to buy any Mega Bloks in the UK at all, but occasionally Amazon gets the new stuff and it's really just as quick as you can buy it, it then sells out. So I got these two just before lockdown. They're both from Halo Wars 2. The first one is the Kinsano Cyclops which is a set, you know, I, I didn't get the Halo Wars 2 DLC, to be honest. Um, I also don't believe in DLCs being too expensive, and that one was just unreasonable. Oh no, God. God! No, God, please, no! 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 But I did watch all the gameplay, and Kinsano looked like a really cool character, and I played it once on one of my friend's Xboxes, so I had to get this guy or this girl, it's not even a guy, and it looks pretty amazing. So do the new Flood Infection forms and the Cyclops. I had such a great time making the prototype Cyclops video that I thought I may as well try my wits with a bigger one. The second one is the other Halo Wars 2. I'm guessing you can maybe guess what it is because there aren't many. It's the Forge Hog versus Banished. Now this is definitely a set I wanted to pick up since they announced it. Really cool. I really wanted to get hold of this new Warthog. It looks like they made a lot of design improvements, especially these foldable doors here and this nice Sentinel. And then we've also got a Halo Wars 2 Marine, which was a must. I already have the Forge in a Halo Heroes. Maybe it was Halo Heroes Series 2. But I thought I'd try the second one, and then this Goliath looks like a beast too. Son, I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last Spartan in the fight. 
I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. So that's really all we've got for today. I say all, it's actually quite a lot still. I'm very happy with having enough of this to make videos during lockdown. Definitely do some reviews. Let me know in the comments which one you want to see first. And then maybe I'll do a review of this one too. I want to definitely thank you all for all the support I've been getting for my Halo videos recently. I do feel like I've been welcomed back into the community with open arms and I'm going to be making Halo videos as much as possible. Really hope you can check out my latest one. It was a documentation of all the different appearances of drop pods in the Halo games took me a long time to make so I'd love your feedback and support on that one this was another assorted Halo video with the SS Motion or the domain because we are changing the name soon I just need to make the video announcing it and hope you enjoyed today the Master Chief is signing off thanks for the tank he never gets me anything oh I know what the ladies like <laughs>